Hi, I'm Natasha Lockhart. It's time for our Christmas edition of Studio Chatter. I'm Stacy Beck. Looking forward to New Year's parties? We've got some New Year's fashions. And I'm Andrew Murphy. We'll talk about some remarkable ways to record our gratitude. And producer Pete tells us that we have a special guest coming too. All this and more on Studio Chatter. Welcome to Studio Chatter. December is so jam-packed with concerts, ballets, and parties, but have you enjoyed it? Yes. I love I that Pete put that on there because that's kind of how I came in today, where I'm like, Christmas time sometimes is hard. It's so great, but there is so many things. So cool. But you love that. You're a social. My first week was just jam-packed, and I was going strong for like uh -huh. seven solid days, but after that, I'm like, Okay, you can't keep that pace up. <laughs> that was a little coming on strong. <laughs> Excited right. for the holidays. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that was fast. But it gets overwhelming a little and bit. I planned ahead, like I've been shopping and wrapping, but still, right? this week, you know, just picking up odds and ends. It's and then you're trying to do your normal jobs and right. life. It's, yeah, it's it can a be lot. a lot. Yeah, it can definitely be a lot. It's but fun, but I told it myself, I'm like the things that I say yes to, be really present at them. Don't yeah. feel stressed about them when you show up. Just you know, enjoy that moment, be in that moment. And so I've really worked on that this season, and yeah. it's helped. I think our culture nowadays, it's not like you have to show up and it's this big ta-da. Right. It's just. Your kid, just bring you. Right. Do you feel that? Does that make sense? And sometimes sense? you feel like it has to be a perfect moment. You know what I mean? And I'm like, just no, be just, there. Just, together. just do it. Right. Yeah. I think there's been a shift for sure, especially since COVID. I think that there's been, there's comfort. There was, we got comfort comfortable being home and now yeah. maybe being out and about again. I don't know. Gives us yeah. a little anxiety to be on. Or, right. Yeah. And then having to be Busy. Everywhere, yet now mm -hmm. there was that kind of the stop and start thing. That's true, because last year was not like this. It mm -hmm. was a slower holiday season. You could kind of mm -hmm. choose what Which you wanted to really, do. We really liked, enjoyed. Right? Yes. <laughs> Stayed in our sweat, though, my sweater out. I don't remember last <laughs> no, holiday no, season. No. Did we not do it just, anything? It, it just feels a lot faster this year. Yeah. To yeah. Me, I, for some reason. I mean, I know that even with like the kids' performances, they started uh -huh. earlier this year, and that, that felt really fast. Um, but then I really appreciated that now. <laughs> right, yeah. Um, and even in this past week, because there were some things lumped together, it felt kind of overwhelming. But then, I, I don't right. know, you just kind of have to go with the flow, you too. Do. But then even getting dressed up to go to an event, I'm like, wow, like I forgot even how to walk in heels for Did a you go to an event this. that you got to dress up at? Yes. Tell us I more. I think that you were at the same event. I was. Yes, we both Thanks happened to, to indulge in the Nutcracker. So my mom, just because of that winter storm, she decided to wait a week to come home. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah you were able to join I, us. I, Isn't I that so home. great? I just, I just love that feeling up there. It's, it is it's magical to dress up. It really it was. It was fun to dress up and it's fun to see all, uh, there's a lot of moms and daughters and generations mm -hmm. I yes. think that make it an event. And so yeah. you see the little tinies it, all dressed up and then kind of everybody coming with their families and just watching, I mean, just watching the Nutcracker Ballet. So it's fantastic. Oh, they do a beautiful job. It really it's is so beautiful. Cute. I mean, the, the first act and the snow scene, it's just... Oh. oh, I know. And just the music. It's just like, it just takes you back. I know. Yeah. I went to Nolly's dance performance today. Aww. They had a Christmas recital. And because uh. of COVID, they haven't like done big performances. So you just come to the end of class. And oh, you guys, they did all Nutcracker songs. Oh. But they allowed them to have like a fan. And they did a dance with a fan all to Nutcracker music. Just little bits yeah. and pieces. Candy canes. And they did like the Nutcracker. It was so fun. So now, Mallory was, was taking piece. Nolly to the Nutcracker. Have they gone yet? No. Okay. 22nd. And okay. I tried to look for oh. tickets, and they don't have anything near them. So I'm yeah. not going to go. But yeah. next year, next we're going to plan. Aww. But we did go to the Polar Express. I don't know if we talked about <gasps> yes. this last time. Oh, yes. You did it. go. It ended up being really good. So we took our kids years ago, and it was good. But I remember it just being like, 
you pull up to the North Pole and the train stops and there was Santa by a pole, just waving. Mm -hmm. This time, you guys, we got on that train. They served us cookies, hot chocolate. We did dance parties. They had all these kids like dressed up as the characters in the Polar Express. Then it said, we're here to the North Pole and like it gets dark and the train stops. And then all of a sudden the train starts to creep along and then this backdrop scene lights up and Santa is standing on this pedestal, just this gorgeous Santa, real life, waving and pointing at the kids and it was magical. Oh like we gosh. got like all teary and then Santa got on the train and talked to each and every person and gave them a bell of Christmas and then took pictures. It was so sweet. So it was how just special long was the whole process? It was probably two hours. Like I think okay. that by the time we got on and loaded, 45 minutes stop, Santa and then got on and then 45 okay. minutes back. And was it the whole family or did you and Rhett just We did the, the whole family. Okay. Yeah, we did. That and was probably nice to have mom and yeah, dad there. Yes because it got like on the way there they had fun and then the dance party kind of helped like they really had something happening all the time okay. which kept the kids engaged and like they played Elsa songs and the little kids loved that oh and then gosh. we did sing alongs. That so sounds fun. so good. So that was a good tradition that I think we'll do maybe every couple of years. Okay. Yeah, maybe trade off with something yeah. else. But we did our neat. grandkids day and took the kids to see Encanto. I think that's was it so that. good. Was it? I really, really liked it. Did you? And it was Lincoln. He's three. First time in the theater. Didn't move. I mean, Laney. Oh, it was just great. We just sat there and enjoyed the movie. Oh. And it was just the message in this one. It's so super, sweet. super good. It's just about every single family member brings a different gift oh. to the family. And it talks about all those gifts. And even you know, Uncle Crazy, he still has a gift, but they <laughs> kind of kicked him out. But in the end, you know, it's just like, it really talks Aww. about just the Just a good message. Yeah. I love that. So and I love that you do that with your grandkids. Yeah. Yep. Well, and we took him to Salem Pond. Did you? Oh, isn't that fun? There? We did that yeah. last year. No, nope, not yet. It's beautiful. I'll have it to go this so year beautiful. again. And it's just quick. We drove around and then we turn around mm -hmm. and drove And then there's there. a few homes that are close by yeah. that are kind of fun too. Yeah, I've also heard Mapleton. Has I have beautiful not hit homes it. right yeah, now. There, I have not a, hit there's it. a few homes. Okay. Now we we've kind of been putting some of those things on hold until my mom and dad have made it mm -hmm. home. So then they'll come and stay with us for Christmas. So then we'll kind of drive around and do all of those things. But what about work parties? So my work party oh. is far, far away. Oh, so, so you didn't attend. So well, so there's not really there's not an one. opportunity for me to go to a work party. We haven't right. had ours yet. No, nope. it's the okay. week of Christmas. We had ours and we had casino night and we just Ooh, mm, fun. They just opened the new location in Lehigh and it's a three story and there's actually it's the rooftop reception center on top. I just yeah. signed them up for you to Valley Did Bright you? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So that's one of our doctor's daughter in law and son on oh. that. And so we were able to use that facility and we did a casino oh. night and had Magleby's cater and it oh, was just that's really fun. catering our work party. Really good. Magleby's. They did a great job. Really great good. job. And I helped do the florals and the centerpieces. Oh, so, so how many of you were there? There was, I think, 30, we had 34 plus the doctors, 38 plus spouses were invited. Oh. So we had about 70 people there. Oh, wow. So it was really oh. fun. It was a fun night. Good. And got to game a little bit and then they had us turn in our chips and then we were given credit to bid on items. Oh, so that's it fun. was really oh, fun. super fun. Yep, it was fun. So, and Rhett's actually at his Christmas party tonight. We had two Worst conflicts. Were spouses invited? Mm -hmm. Oh. I know. Yep. Oh. So I chose Studio Chatter, guys. Thanks, Sanford. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> oh. Well, All happy right. holidays. Yes. Yeah. Happy Love holidays. You guys. Next on Studio Chatter, we'll talk about gratitude. Stay with us. Welcome back to Studio Chatter. Recently we learned about a great journal and now there are even more to consider. Let's welcome Laura Solarzano from Remarkable Now back to our table. Hello. Welcome back. Welcome. Thank you. Hi. Thanks for having me back. So my motivation, it seems <laughs> that between Christmas and New Year's, people are always kind of resetting and thinking about journaling and maybe just getting a new purpose. Yeah. 
So I thought maybe you could help us with that. Absolutely. <laughs> a little pick me up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, and you've, you've relaunched some things, so tell us what's I going have. on in, in your world. Yeah. Well, we've done a lot since I was last here. Last time I came, I just had my gratitude journal and my children's gratitude journal, and now we have launched a grief journal mm -hmm. and a spiritually based journal, a I am becoming and a you are becoming, meant for adults to fill out or parents to fill out for their children and how they see them becoming like God. And then we also launched a life journal, which is really exciting, which is like a journal for kids, basically a baby book simplified zero to 18 years because I was so bad at documenting my kids. And so Horrible. I wanted a simple way, like I didn't scrapbook and I just beat myself up about not doing good at it, you know, uh -huh. like we do as moms. Uh -huh. So we yes. created the Life Journal to have yearly so prompts, pretty. zero to 18 years, really simple, their favorite things, what you love about them, how you've seen them grow in their strengths and talents. And I love that. Like, oh, I'm so aware. just once a year is hitting it, those milestones. Like yeah. Like yeah. Like, 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 yeah. Mom. It will They're have, so pretty too. Oh, I just have to mention that. Yes. Gorgeous. Yeah, we relaunched all the covers to be hard bound so that they can be more of a keepsake item mm -hmm. and so that they'll also look really pretty in your house, on your shelves. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, Aww. they're all they're all hard bound and then in the life you have a letter to them and you talk about their birth and then six months That's and then it so turns to months a year. Oh my goodness. Yes. Grief. Grief is very important to us. That has been a need right now. And we had so many people reaching out to us saying, can you please create a grief journal? And I hadn't experienced anything that close to me uh -huh. at this point. I still haven't. And so we did a lot of research and we did focus oh, groups and we met with people who had experienced grief and we put a lot of work into it. We're really excited about the grief journal. It even has like coloring pages where you can just escape from your thoughts and kind of do that. And then also there's a remembering section at the back of the book that has an, an opportunity for you to put everything that you remember about them, all your favorite memories. Mm. Well, and I connect grief with death, but also there's grief with like divorce yeah. or what? moving yes. or something a like that. Yeah. Right? Well, we yeah. actually met with a focus group of women who were going through very difficult marital problems mm -hmm. where they were grieving what they thought would be. Yes. And they also helped us in creating this. So it is very universal wow. for anyone going through any kind of challenging time. Yeah. When my yeah. mother passed away, someone gave me a journal similar to that. And I thought, I can't put it in there. Yeah. But then just looking at it, it just made me think, oh, these are normal thoughts. Yes. Or this is a yes. place to put this feeling yes. that I don't know what to do with Absolutely. right now. Yeah. And then looking back and seeing the growth that happened yeah. during that time. It also in the grief, we have a place where you can put what's one thing you're scared about today and who can help you with that? Because people that were going through massive grief said, something would come up like the lawnmower and they didn't know how to use it and if they could just get someone to help them with that one thing they wouldn't spin mm. into that one concern so then you go down the yeah, spiral of yeah then so really what if i get that. to the fence and then i can't yeah. do that so right. we really wanted you know tools that actually help you but not feel overwhelming not feel like it's a to-do right. but help you move through your day and see the hand of god and let people serve you in right. this so yeah this is like a beautiful concept I want to go through all of them. So this yeah. was grief. Mm -hmm. This one is me. That is the children's journal. Okay. That we had talked about that last time. All the prompts have stayed the same. We just redesigned the covers. Three and things yeah. I loved about today. The children's one is so simple. We wanted it to it. be this page here stays the same throughout the entire book. So it's three gratefuls, two positive affirmations, one thing you're looking forward to. Science shows that if your kids have something they can look forward to that day, and adults, it's in the adult version too, then you can get through the mundane and the difficult because you have something to look forward okay. to that day. And oh, wow. these all change. These fun activities are my kids' favorite part of the book. They love doing the grateful activities. What age would you suggest starting? Just so as soon as I can started write? with my three-year-old and we mm -hmm. sat down and did it together. We launched those when my youngest was three. He's five now oh and tries gosh. to fill it out on his own. But also I think it depends on where your kids are at. My 17-year-old, up until last year used the children's one because uh -huh. he just wanted to do once a day. Simple. That was good just for me. Simple. I was mm -hmm. like, that's great to do it once a day. Right. And then my teenage girls around like 11 or 12 usually transition to the gratitude that's morning and evening prompts. Okay. Yeah. And, and that's like five minutes a day. That is the navy blue right there on the bottom. And that says gratitude on mm -hmm. it. Okay. And that's the very first one we ever launched. Oh, and pretty. that one is, and that also has a white cover and a navy blue. And they're all, 
like flat lay so that you can lay them flat and right. I love exactly. that. We designed it that, that way. That is really pretty. Yeah. And that is a little more detailed. Sometimes people, I think, feel overwhelmed. It really does take me five minutes in the morning, five minutes in the evening. In fact, if I can share this super fast. Yes. Oh, yes. I was Please. able to go speak to the drill team here at Spanish Fork High School. Mm -hmm. And someone had given them, a, had paid for a journal for each one of them. It was so oh, kind. Wow. And I reached out to them just yesterday, actually, to get their feedback on it. And I had the most incredible messages back about how they all felt like they compare themselves to everyone all the time. We know how teenagers feel right oh, now do. and Absolutely. how difficult it is. And they said, this has changed my whole life. Like, this has changed my year for me. Wow. Anxiety is better. Overwhelm is better. That's happening to my children. My daughter struggles with anxiety, and this is a massive help to her every day mm -hmm. that she uses. So gratitude is insanely powerful. It's I something agree. we take for granted because it's free. Mm -hmm. But right. it is a real tool. And it's been really neat to see it help especially when you're in such a difficult, you know, drill and dance and that kind of Right. Yeah. And sometimes scene. it feels vain or selfish to look at your own self and see what I'm yeah. doing right. Yeah. Yeah. But I think that that's the way that we keep our confidence yes. and, and allow ourselves like, we oh, you're doing well. Look at what you're on. doing well. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. Yeah. I really love yeah. that. I did buy it for my girls last time that you were oh, here. Oh, that's great. Because they're both really good journalers. And one yeah. was suffering with some anxiety. And the other one just loves to journal her day, and it's been pretty helpful to I both of them. This That's is such so a great here. start, Natasha. Like you said, this is great for a new year. So, mm -hmm. as a Christmas gift or a New Year's yeah. gift to yourself, yeah, to start this as a daily yeah, prompt. it's the best thing you can start what, doing. What is it? Do you what do you think about getting it from pen to paper? Just that or from your to, mind to, yeah, to, to, to yeah, putting the, it to paper. Yeah, there is actual scientific study that shows when you think it, that's mm -hmm. powerful. Mm -hmm. When you write it, you 10x it. When you say it, you 10x it again. Okay. So I, lots of times in the morning during my quiet time, mm -hmm. will think it, I write it out on here, and then I say it out loud, because I want all the benefits possible for my brain to wire that mm -hmm. into my mind okay. and set up the best case scenario. But writing it out is a powerful, it's just, magnifies okay. your thoughts for you. Did we cover all of them? I think so. We didn't look at the becoming, but that is something you can go online and look. That is okay. a spiritual based one where you can write how you see your children becoming like God and his attributes. I feel strongly like if we teach our children that, there's nothing that they can't do. And that if they know that God is built into the very fiber of their beings, that is something that is truly powerful for them. So that wow. was something I was very passionate about. It's the one that Every time I talk about it, I start to cry. <laughs> it's very important to me. And then there's one for adults that can fill out. I have a lot of missionaries getting those and taking them wow, on their great. missions yes, with them. Yes. Yeah. Well, it, it's hard to not get emotional about it yeah. because it is very <laughs> powerful. Well, like, and you're also and a, it's a, changed her life. It has, and you're seeing yeah. others' lives life. change. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, you're mm -hmm. a powerful, powerful speaker. You're obviously a wonderful mother. Oh. <laughs> how, how are you able to kind of transition that in, in a kind way? <laughs> to to maybe to my kids. Yes, to convince them to say and not make it a chore. Oh, I have the mm -hmm. best advice. Per se. The best advice. <laughs> okay. You don't want them to think it's a chore or they won't see the right. benefits right. from it, right? Mm -hmm. They have enough chores. They have mm -hmm. enough homework. So we do a little sticker chart where every day that they do it, they put a little sticker on it and when they get to 20 stickers or 30 stickers, they get a date with me or my husband. Um, we have a lot of kids, so that one-on-one -on -one time is super motivating uh, to them. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. So they really like to fill that up, but because it's not a chore and they're choosing to do it, okay. the benefits are amazing. Like They look forward to it now. Okay. So make it something exciting and special. Gets to be for just them. a special habit. It's the way you present it, you know. Absolutely. Yeah. And that's what. That's exactly. Yeah. What I was no, it's a really for. good question. Because sometimes yeah. when it's another check, like, oh, I don't want to do yeah, that. Absolutely. I don't want to journal. But then, if they're yeah. feeling like the heart benefit mm -hmm. and the health yeah. and mental benefit, yeah. then it just right. becomes something they want to do. Yeah. yeah. They'll definitely see the benefit as time goes on. They'll really look forward to it. And kids don't have stillness. None of us have stillness. This is a gift for us to have a little bit of stillness every day where we can listen to our heart. Mm -hmm. That's the only time sometimes that our kids mm -hmm. get, and us as moms, get to actually listen, you know, mm -hmm. and to be still. So they do definitely benefit from it, and they look forward to it now. But Ooh, I love awesome. that. So the gift of stillness. How much are these? So online they are 28 for okay. Christmas. Actually, the Life Journal is 32, and we did partner with Freshly Picked, which is an incredible company with 
handmade leather moccasins. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We partnered with them. So there's oh. a gift set with our life journal and the baby moccasins, which is so fun. That's oh. online. Um, so the life is 32, the rest of them are 28, but for right now, for Christmas, they're 20% off if you go oh, online. Awesome. So it's a good time to get them now. That will be gone at the end of the week. So, okay. so probably then. by the time we okay. post this, it'll be well, we'll gone. We'll try and get it yeah. to the But we can, I can give us a code for your viewers, and they oh, can okay. use that. So I'll get that to you guys. Okay. That would That's be awesome. awesome. Oh, there's never Thank enough time you. with you. Thank I know. you so Thank much. you, Laura. Yeah, I feel course. at peace. You yeah, do, absolutely. <laughs> Thanks so much. You're welcome. Coming up on Studio Chatter, we'll look at some New Year's fashions. Stay with us. Welcome back to Studio Chatter. We need to formally thank our clothing sponsor for the month. As our friends from My Sister's Closet, please welcome Chelsea Carr to our table. Hi, well, guys. Hi. Hello. Thank you. No, thank you. <laughs> my pleasure. We're looking. Yeah. We Fab. love being sponsored by My Sister's oh, Closet. These are so sweet. You guys look so great in all of your outfits. I'm basically a walking yeah. billboard for you guys. I don't know if you know this. I do shop there quite often, yes. but I love the gift that you guys give us. Well, you should stand up because, well, there, did you know? Notice. Wearing kind of twin skirts. Well, yes. I'm not going to stand up because I can't get back on this. this too, okay. but I am in, well, I will. <laughs> Almost top to bottom, my sister's closet. You truly are. Da, da, da. <laughs> and I love it. And the skirt is so cute. It's so It can go cute. casual or dressy, guys. I totally love yep. it. Sorry. And two <laughs> colors, green okay. and black, which is awesome. So. Yep. Yeah, yeah, I'm not going to pop down because then I can't get back up. But it's the same the same skirt in black, mm -hmm. kind of that ribbed corduroy. It's, it's lovely. It I is. Love the texture it's like soft and comfy, but dressy. Yes. Yeah, that's the best part about velvet and corduroy is that mm -hmm. it has like a sheen to it. So it yeah. looks really elevated, but it's so comfortable. Yep. And yep. Chelsea, what I noticed when I was in there is both like the color block and the vest so 80s. I know that because I grew up there. <laughs> the sweater vest but, is making a like a comeback and I'm here for right? it. Right? Because it's, it's so brand fun. new. Like I I swear this was the first one I saw. Yes. Well, I was in and don't store. you I, like recently look back at old photos and I'm like, oh my gosh, a sweater vest. <laughs> and then I go in there and I'm like, oh my there gosh. There they are. The sweater vest. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, and color block. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, because I about bought that one. So Well, we loved well, Ange and I ran down there at the same time, and we loved uh -huh. both of these because they could go casual or, or dressy. dressy. Mm -hmm. And I believe it was even Pink Friday when we had gone to look the first time. And the shirt that she's wearing underneath is, is basic. The skirts yeah. are basic. And look how cute it has, like a little yeah. so, ruffly so part cute. too. Oh, so these can just these wear it alone. Like, yep three, yeah. four different ways. Yep. So. I love that Sarah, Stopping. when she is like picking out what we're going to have for the next season, she's always thinking about like basics, but like with that extra little level, mm -hmm. so yes. that it's not super basic. So it, it works really well on a casual level, but it also can be elevated just by styling it a certain way. It's we're always about making sure you get pieces that you can stretch yeah. in any way and you get just the most bang for your buck when you buy, buy from us and shop from us. Well, your prices yeah. are Oh, the price point is amazing. <laughs> yes, like, it, is. it really is right on. Sometimes yeah. I'm like, what? <laughs> like something will come and I'll pick it up and I'll be like, this is amazing. Like it amazes yeah. me. <laughs> yeah. Yep. And not only for dressy, the casual graphic tees. You guys always have such fun yes. things there. And Stace loves a good graphic tee. I do. Yeah, I do. <laughs> and then when Natasha walked in today, I'm like, oh, I love your necklace. And oh, uh, yes. And I said, well, I, I did get that very much on purpose because it's the little accents that always add the add little twist. Yeah. yeah. I love it so much. So tell us what, what's yes. in this winter. Okay. So winter is really interesting watching all of the trends kind of roll into our warehouse. Mm -hmm. um, like we talked about the sweater vest. When we've got our first sweater vest in, I was so pumped, but I was like, I don't know how these are going to do. They sold out so fast. Okay. Isn't they are just funny? moving and grooving. Yeah. And I'm so pumped. What I really love about them is that they're really oversized. Mm -hmm. And so you can layer with them and they're really comfortable, but just like very okay. versatile at the same time. Mm -hmm. um, I brought a couple other things to talk okay. about. Okay. So this is the Lynette striped sweater. This is a really fun thing because it 
has the balloon sleeve. Do you Ooh, see how big yes. this balloon sleeve is? I love is? balloon mm -hmm. sleeves. I do oh my too. gosh, I, I do. Yeah. They're so fun. They just give that sleeve like an extra little it's like bohemian, like feminine. Yeah. yeah. It's really soft. You just kind of feel super epic when you're wearing you a do. balloon yeah. sleeve. And the other thing I really like is that it has these functioning buttons down the front, and this is called like a Henley style. I love that. And the Henley mm -hmm. is very in right now, and we are just starting to see it kind of being used in other textures like a sweater. Mm -hmm. So really cool, something we'll see definitely mm -hmm. throughout into the spring. We'll see Henley style bodysuits to layer with, things like that. Oh, oh cool. So, and this is also a really nice fine knit sweater. So um, we're seeing lots of finer knits come through, and that's really nice because Chunky knits are always in, but it's nice to have a little bit of variety yeah. in yeah. your knits. layering with yep. jackets, yes. like Love what you're that. wearing. If you yes. had a sweater, yep. you wouldn't want like a big puffer. Right, yeah. chunky, exactly. Yeah, chunky sweater. Speaking of what I'm wearing, blazers are in too. Oh, I know, Can I've noticed that. I'm so, I'm so <laughs> We are going back, aren't <laughs> we? That's why I yeah. wore mine, because this is one that we just released last week and it has sold out so fast, I, I couldn't it. believe it. I was like, I have to buy it when I saw it moving on the day we released it. So it's gonna be gone before I have a chance to buy it, and I did, I'm so glad. So blazers, they're in too. And then, um, let's talk about quilted jackets. Oh, oh that's, that's that's awesome. so pretty. If you have to feel oh, it. Oh, yes. Yep. Oh, oh that. what's the price so point on this, Chelsea? This is just over $50 at $54. Wow. Which is incredible. And this is thick. This Do you is feel how thick it is? Yeah. So this is this quilted jacket um, is really in right now. There are some other like big name brands that make these for over a hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. So uh, we had been talking to our owner oh, Sarah, and we were like, we really need a quilted so jacket. Soft. They're so on mm -hmm. trend. And she brought this one in, and this is better than the it's very expensive than ones. It's so soft. It's so high quality. It's got the elastic, so it's going to keep your wrists warm. Yeah. It's kind of a bomber jacket situation, mm -hmm. and it looks so cute with the graphic tee oh, underneath. I, I noticed that right on. <laughs> so on the bottom, it does it fit right at your waist or is it a little longer? It just depends on what sizing you want. Okay. If you want something a little bit more cropped, then you could size down. If you get okay. your true size, it's gonna be a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. I like the neckline too. Yeah. I do too. It's so soft. This it's is another one I beautiful and color. dress up or down. Yes. Like you could wear that with a dress. Yeah, you really totally. could. You really yeah. could. And navy and blue are having a moment too. Like lots of blues, mm -hmm. which obviously is like a winter color, but I feel like we normally don't see this rich blue mm -mm, this in winter, and it's definitely making a comeback this winter. Okay. And then the last thing I brought was for our you know, it's the holidays, mm. you know, New Year's mm. Eve, and I just had to bring this. This is the Noel champagne dress, and I love it <laughs> because it has the prettiest little shimmer to it. And this, once again, it's got a slight balloon sleeve, yeah. and then this cut is something we're seeing a lot. It's kind of like an A-line, so mm -hmm. it's very flowy. It's flattering on every mm. body type, and it just is so, so cute, and it hits you right above the knees, and we're seeing a lot of like right at the knee, right above the knee lengths right okay. now. So so that's definitely something we're kind of keeping our eye out. But perfect for New Year's, but also Valentine's Day. And into, into spring and summer. This could like be a really perfect. cute dress for like a bridal shower or something right. like that. Mm -hmm. So once again, a dress that's going to work on multiple occasions and really you're going to get the most bang for your buck Beautiful. out of something like this. I notice, I'm noticing the accessories too. This yes. is like yeah, a the smaller paper clip version of your necklace. Yes, yep. the paper clip necklace. I have yeah. this bracelet. Yes. Yeah. yes. They're yeah. in. Eighties <laughs> again, I and like know. I got married in '89, and I had a necklace like this gold. I almost wore it tonight, and I took it off because it seemed too much. But I pulled it out. My mother-in-law gave it to me when we were first married. So you said, maybe I kept mine. You maybe, maybe do. Maybe I Look, did. Dig deep. But it's exactly just weird it's all coming stays. back. Well, yeah, I yeah. think you're kind of a gold girl. If I remember I last <laughs> holiday season, you had the beautiful gold barrette uh -huh. and a little bit of the gold eyeshadow yep. shimmer, and I obsessed. And so <laughs> I, I, I followed you right to the makeup store as well and tried yes. to buy the gold eyeshadow. I didn't pull gold it off quite as well as you did. I'm sure you did great. No, I, I did oh. not, but I tried. Yes, and then what about the jean? I've noticed that we've gone from skinny now to a little bit yes. straight and to a wide, wide. Wide, wide. Mm -hmm. yes. So we, they call them the mom jean, mm -hmm. and um, they're definitely a little bit more high-waisted. They're nice wide. They usually have some distressing, and they're sometimes more cropped, so they're going to hit you right above your ankle, and they are just, like, super in right now. Mm -hmm. And we also have, like, the boyfriend jean mm -hmm. and the girlfriend jean, which are, like, different variations of the mom jean. It's kind of, okay. like, all over the spectrum a yes. little bit, right? Right. 
Which is kind of fun. It is so fun. And what I love about it is that it gives you the opportunity to just kind of break out of the skinny jean for a while. Mm -hmm. Everyone was in the skinny jean. Yes. yes. And with the tall boot. Or <laughs> yes. And that's truly not for everyone's body type. No, but you, not, that not. was like all you could find. So right. you had to go that route. Right. right. And so I just love that there's just a much wider variety now on trend to wear. And the mom jean is so much more comfy, guys. It is. Remember the low, low waist? <laughs> oh, back that in was the, horrible. Yeah. That is something I will never let come back. <laughs> <laughs> it's just Hard not pass pretty. on yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. So, but yes, the jeans definitely a nice wide variety of like cuts and styles, which is really great okay. for for everyone. Basically, you also carry jogger sets, uh -huh. which are super popular. Mm -hmm. They're so good. Mm -hmm. I love them. Yes, they're so cozy. What I love about a good at matching set is that they can dress be dressed up and down. So, like you put them on and go drop your kids off at school with. Great. You put on like a cute pair of tennis shoes and layer it with a denim jacket, and you're going to be ready for errands or going out to lunch with a mm -hmm. girlfriend. They are so on trend and they are so easy to just kind of elevate. Mm -hmm. But then you can come home and just take off your accessories and take a nap. So, yeah. That's the kind of life <laughs> that, we love. That's the kind of life we love, right? Yes. Fashion that does everything. Yeah. Well, shoes as well, right? Uh huh. Yes. So, literally can get the whole outfit. I know, and like outfit. accessories, purses, little beanies, gloves. Yes. You guys just are kind of a one shop. Stop. Yes, we try to have everything. And we also carry a lot of things in the full size range. So mm -hmm. sizes oh, small mm -hmm. through 3X. Um, it's very important to our owner and to us as a company to just have the full size range so that everyone can show up and get something that feel they feel good in. And let's not forget, like I love, when I do clean out my closet, <laughs> I take in a bag or two, consign it, and mm -hmm. then, you know, a couple weeks later when I go back to shop, you know, I have a credit. <laughs> yes, you so, do. It's so fun. I like that. Yes, and the consignment section is just something that is will never let us down. We'll always have it. Our Spanish Fork customer and community love the consignment section, so we keep that going and they show up with really good things. You can find some really good treasures in the consignment section. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah that's awesome. <laughs> I agree. And a gift certificate fits everyone. Yes. Yeah. And uh -huh. I was just showing us all these. I'm like, oh, I would love a gift certificate. <laughs> right. Right. Oh. So many things. Like you said, beanies, too. Something that we're really excited about is that um, this year we've started actually designing our own exclusive pieces. So exclusive graphic tees. We did exclusive mm -hmm. holiday sweatshirts. And we did exclusive beanies that our graphic designer designed for. So, so fun. So wow. things that you won't be able to find anywhere else that we're manufacturing and designing. Oh, that's fun. And that's it's very really fun, great. So. A new step. Yes, and it's your warehouse so is right here in Spanish Fork up at, at yep. the mouth of the canyon. And we do warehouse pickup. So if you buy something online, you can just zip up to the warehouse and pick it up same day. I did not know that. Yes, yeah. yes, you Sounds can. Great. Come visit yes. us. <laughs> yes, you can. Okay. And well, as the marketing director, also, sorry to interrupt yeah. you, um, there's also some things that you do on Mondays. Yes, 24 hour events, Mondays and Wednesdays. Okay. Yes, we release a new item and it is on sale for the first 24 hours. Sometimes it's multiple items. They're on sale, free shipping, online only, 24 hours, oh. starts at noon, and it's a party and things sell out so fast. So you want to set your alarms. Turn on your notifications. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Good Thanks, stuff. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much for having me. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Thank you so much. Yes. Coming up on Studio Chatter, we'll talk about the memories that our favorite holiday treats bring. Welcome back to Studio Chatter. If you were my neighbor, what would I expect to receive from you as a yummy treat? Let's talk about it. Wow. Well, Usually I don't, I don't bake, know guys. what my neighbors are going to get. You know what my neighbors get? Homemade sugar cookies. From you? Mm -hmm. They do? Because I do make a good sugar cookie and it is a tradition. Maybe I'm glad we're talking about this because <laughs> I haven't planned it. <laughs> and it's a tradition that the kids all come over and we decorate and we have a contest of who, okay. who decorates the cutest cookie. I don't think I've given a homemade baked good to my neighbors. My mother-in-law made pecan logs and I would give them oh. that, but it's mm. been years. My mother had us make teddy bear bread when we were younger Which and it was Rhodes that. roll bread and she'd just let it rise and then would shape it into the shape of a teddy bear. I remember oh. you telling yes. us this last year. Yes, oh and it gosh. was, I just vividly remember that and then the candy cane cookie. Okay, I want one. Okay, you guys can have like, one. I'm, I'm, okay, I'm I so hurried hungry. and threw these in the oven before I went to my doctor's appointment. And I think the weather, they're a little flat. Like, 
I just need to make them chunkier, but they still taste yummy. So you make mm -hmm. the dough like a sugar cookie dough, and then you take half of them and put peppermint um, flavoring and red mm -hmm. food coloring, and then you roll them together, and it's for the kids to do. And then you roll them and shape them like a candy cane, and then after they're baked, then you like sprinkle them with powdered sugar. It's the way that we always did it and then put a little bit of crushed candy canes on them. So you roll them like, so just we kinda just kind of snake them, snake them, and then kind of roll them together and then just twist them very so okay. slightly mm -hmm. and roll them. And it's just like this fun little. They're darling, oh, and they're so good. Right? They're really yummy. Mm -hmm. And you said you put peppermint flavoring? Mm -hmm. And then pink. peppermint flavoring in the red and a little bit of red food coloring. Mm -hmm. And then on the top, you sprinkle the powdered sugar and then a little crushed candy cane, if you it want to. It does not need the frosting. No. Like, it's so mm -hmm. right? perfectly... Right? Kind of light. Because mm -hmm. everyone says, do you frost them? And I'm like, you no, we just... You say you can't cook. Look at this. This right? is delicious. Mm -hmm. And sometimes they're poofier than others, just depending. But today, it was a flat cookie day. But mm. kind of fun. That's what we do. It's a perfect flat cookie. Mm -hmm. And the kids are coming over on Thursday, so we're going to do it. These are really good. Perfect, I really may good. need to implement that. Huh? Mm -hmm. Very good. And fun They're, for them to make. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? And they just roll out snakes. And I mean, what we get is just, her, you know, pretty funny. Mm -hmm. but. What about you, Natasha? Mm -hmm. Nope. You're not ever going to get. <laughs> you know my cookie skills. <laughs> you would never get. You would never get. A These are not Chelsea Lord you approved. Would, okay, but, you would you never know? get a decorated cookie from me for sure. What about do you do? Um, and so a I'm. A No, I I do a really really great shrimp dip. So mm. I would do either. I would either make you a really great cheese ball or a shrimp dip. And I have I done. Love both of those. So and tell I, us. And I have done them before. Um, but I, I would have to, I would probably, do, I'll make it for you maybe the next time. Maybe we'll do that for, for actual yes, New Year's. Yes, for New Year's. Yes, I'll bring you my shrimp dip. No, but I knew that we were kind of going to talk about the sweet treats, mm -hmm. um, but I don't like, I don't really bake. So this is more, you and I had talked previously though about the old ZCMI bakery. Yes. Um, so this is more of like a, a memory or, or, a, uh -huh. a, or a share. Um, if you're lucky enough to know maybe a baker that still makes a raisin filled cookie. Now I My cheated. My mother loved these. Yeah, so I, mm. so Macy's actually does an amazing raisin filled cookie. Have you ever, have you ever bought them? I've never, I've never purchased, purchased them. One. Okay. Okay. So I, I actually one. did Do stop. I did, yes, I stopped. Oh, we can share one. I stopped Let's by. Share. That looks like kay. a big one. On mm -hmm. my way tonight and, and bought some. Now, will I like this if Do I like don't raisins? even put raisins in my cinnamon, in my cinnamon rolls? I don't it's know. Like you may or may not. Yeah, they're, they're just. Right um, when you broke that open, like I could a, just smell the It's like a little pie. Mm-hmm. And if you're lucky mm -hmm. enough mm -hmm, to know somebody that actually, I mean, they do a really great job. Mm -hmm. And Provo Bakery does a really good one, too. Mm -hmm. That's good. Mm -hmm. Good job, Macy's. Mm -hmm. And if, yes, mm -hmm. if anybody, if you know anybody that makes one with dates, a date-filled cookie is Is this the, the pie bomb. also that you said you had date pie? Um, no, so prune pie. Prune oh. pie, dates, prunes, aren't they, I know, they're they're the same? I know, they're all kind of the same little family, but yeah. mm, so good with kind of the, the sugar topping. So dates, dates good. prunes, good. and raisins. Dates, mm, Who are you? I, I don't know. <laughs> but I don't, I don't I mean, love them. I love them. It's em. very holiday, right? kind of the same thing, kind of little sugar toppings, but. Yep. Keeping it a little light so you can eat I a lot you of could, them. Um, my mom used to those. Yes, you could. Just you put them could, on a platter. You could. Put them on a plate. Yes, you a could. You could cheat. You don't need to say homemade them pie. You can right. just deliver them on a platter. Oh, well, there you mm -hmm. go. I actually, but they also do. Um, so Macy's also does a an apple filled and a. I think they've even done a lemon filled before. Mm -hmm. those both sound if good. I'm gonna have a sweet treat, that's it's my. Mm -hmm, that's it's my go-to. something yeah. like. I also always make the checks mix with the different oh, checks, with mm -hmm. the coconut, the red and green M&Ms, sliced, slivered almonds. Oh, that is just I still love like the savory one there too because there's the one that has like the, um, the Worcester Oh sauce. my gosh, and our it, taste is just it's so, so different. completely different. Savory, yeah. sweet. Yes, I'm always savory. I will always, always pick the salty over the sweet. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. And I love, uh, I have several Six Sisters cookbooks. I do, yes. I do too and I love all them. Their holiday recipes so and they're all usually pretty simple the, yes yeah they, they don't go too much no nope. is that the one that you yeah. make the christmas crack i think yeah. is what they call it so anyways just 
Good breakfast. What do you guys do on Christmas morning? Every for year, breakfast? brown sugar bacon, and then we usually do some sort of a casserole, like okay. either an egg casserole mm -hmm. or a French toast yeah, casserole. That's us. And then the kids always like waffles or pancakes. And then I usually do like a cinnamon roll from Shirley's. We just do like gobs and a hash brown. It's like traditional. That is a lot. It's a lot. It's a big yeah. breakfast, but Taylor says it's his favorite meal of the year, even more than Thanksgiving. Oh. Right? Isn't yeah. that sweet? Yeah. Cute son in law. Big yeah. Christmas breakfast. Uh -huh. too. What's yours? About the same. It's okay. a big breakfast casserole, and we eat really, really big. Mm -hmm. And then in the afternoon, do you do you have ham or do you have turkey or neither? Well, we used to go What's to my mom's. We always and go to did. Chris's yeah. mom's and we whatever she ham. has. But guess what I ordered yesterday? Is a meat tray at Circle V Meat. Oh, okay. Because I thought let's make it a little easier. Yes. So I'm going like to pick that. that up on Christmas Eve, and then have my homemade rolls, and the, just oh. kind of during the day, and okay. then we'll go to Grandma Beck's. I love it. It's yeah. perfect, fun. Yeah. Food, Thanks, ladies, for a treat. Yeah, thank you. Coming up next, we'll see if we really will have a special guest. Stay with us to find out. Welcome back to Studio Chatter. Well, Pete said that there was going to be a special someone. <laughs> and no one's here. Oh, uh, we see is an empty chair. Well, mm. last year we well, got the Grinch. I, <laughs> he likes to surprise us. Yeah. He sure does. Oh. 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 Well. Am I supposed to open this? A okay. special invitation. What is it? An invitation. Oh, oh. <laughs> I was right. <laughs> You'll find me in the hall of the grandest Christmas tree in town. I'm waiting. Where is it, Stace? At City Hall. Is that right, Pete? City Hall? That's the grandest what? tree let's in go. town. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Okay. Hello, Hello. 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 How are you? Hello. 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 How us ladies oh, made it on this show. <laughs> she goes, right right the <laughs> Yes. Let's jump right Tell me about that. I don't know if ladies. I want to know. That's, that's a good question. You know, uh, that's a question I, I was going to ask you. What Do you feel like you've been more naughty or more nice this year? Oh, nice. That was nice. We're, <laughs> all very we're nice. always nice. Yeah. yeah. Some we're, years we're getting nicer than others. You're not. You're not <laughs> lying. You're not lying because, in fact, can you tell? Yes. In fact, um, you've been on the nice list. All three of you, the majority of the time. Right. So good job. Yeah. Okay. Good. In fact, you've been so good that I brought a little, a little gift, a little early Christmas present. Really. For oh, each like of you. That. Did you so. hear that we love gifts? Yeah. <laughs> good. <Thank you. laughs> I did, and I am the gift master. Yeah. Are you right? Mm -hmm. So uh, I thought, well, this is perfect. So, okay. Let, let's 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 start. Let's see what I've got in here. All right. Candy canes is my guess. Probably. Well, Isn't that what all kids get? Let, candy canes. What would you like for Christmas? Let's. Mm. That's what my husband just asked me yesterday. <laughs> Clothes, floating shelves. <laughs> floating shelves. I Perfume. get it. I get it. Perfume. Mm -hmm. Okay. Diet Maybe, I don't. I don't know. Maybe just for my kids to listen. Can you help with that? That's when I get a lot. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I'll do my best. Do your best. Let me. Let me see what I can do. Well, let's see here. Give me just I a like moment. I like shoes. Uh -huh. Shoes. She does. Yeah, I like yeah. Diet Coke too, Santa. <laughs> Do you ever get Diet Coke instead of milk? Um, absolutely. Yeah. You would accept that. So would I like? Okay. Yes, I would. Okay. And any kind of cookie, I get that. Because you have a long night, too. you need some caffeine. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, caffeine is actually preferred. Well, give me a second here. Pardon me, I've got so much in this bag. You guys must My be goodness, really good. Right? No. <laughs> wow, that's, that's, a, that's bad, a fancy right? bag. Yes. I didn't know how nice we were. Wow. I know. I know. Oh, oh. Whoa. Whoa. oh. <laughs> We'll just, leave. We'll, just, we'll just let that be. We'll just. 
Santa, you're That's scary. Scary. <laughs> <laughs> We'll maybe, see if this comes out one piece. Maybe Santa needs some help. Oh, hey, here we go. Can no, help? I think we're good. I think, we're good? Oh, yes, this one, yes. Okay, oh, okay. Let's, oh. okay. Oh. Angie, this is for you. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh Angie. Oh, thank That's you, Santa. Good. You're welcome. Oh. Just put that right back I'm in I'm just going to tuck that the right back in there. Right just assemble it back together. She's just good at Look that. Look at how I am good at that, Santa. Oh, I could come and help you wrap. Look at how cute little. that snowflake. Yeah, when she retires, she's a good elf. I she's a good okay. rap. I'm not going to forget that. Don't. Yeah. Yeah, and if stay I, on the nice list too, and you might be in business with a job. Okay, cute. is that an ornament? <laughs> oh, oh, look that's at how cute! cute. <laughs> that stocking is that darling. is so darling. I feel Let's like there's see. something in here, but I don't know if we're supposed to take it out. <laughs> I'm gonna set this one out on the side for a second here. Oh, oh right. yes, this one right here. Yes, yes, this one. All right, Natasha. This <gasps> oh. oh. I like that ornament. I feel like this yeah. is a beanie or something. I Very just don't good. dare take it out. Yeah. Oh. All right, Stacy, this is for you. Merry Christmas. Thank you. Oh. Thank what did you all get? Now remind me. Let's see oh what. My oh my gosh, God. Santa. Oh. Well, uh, okay. <laughs> I, I, Paul. <gasps> oh, Stacy. You were supposed to be oh. on the nice list. There's more. <laughs> more cold. I do give out quite a bit of this, unfortunately. You However. Do? Here's the good news. That was a mistake. That was actually for producer Pete. <laughs> oh, producer, of course it was. That I, one I, I brought to producer Pete. Could you sometimes be a little, right. you know? So let me, let me find yours here. I, oh, my man. apologies Goodness. from the North Pole. That, I've never gotten that stocking of coal. That's a first. Yeah. Never. Oh, here's yours. Okay, yes. But Pete <laughs> might be able to. Oh, look at how cute. Oh, Aren't these Andy's really Thank you. Darling. Oh, you're welcome. So, and I feel so a little orange down there, too. Oh my gosh, you just know. So I, yes, you know again. as well. Leopard, yeah, uh, leopard yes. print for sure. Okay, amazing. Santa, so like I was asking, what is the most difficult part of this season? Of this season uh -huh. specifically? Yes. It is that there are not enough Santa helpers. Really? Mm. To help all the needs. Everyone's back from the pandemic. They're ready to party. Mm -hmm. They want Santa at their party and so you need me. You there. need me in the little yeah, workshop. That's, that's exactly okay. right. Okay. All right, Pete. You may lose a co-host. <laughs> this is so cute. I do not have a hat. Look like at it. Anymore. Matches my outfit. Aww. It does, and that's. We'll, we'll all have hats on in a minute here. I, this is a picture-worthy moment. Yeah, it is. Coming up. Natasha, Natasha, I feel. Over well, there? Well, yeah, I just, I just knew there was oh, something in the toe. Oh, oh. Angie thought, I thought it was, it was an, an orange. orange. I was wrong. It's a. It looks to me like it's a bath bomb. Santa. Yes, it's yes, the perfect yes. gift. You. Thank you. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you. My pleasure. Wow. Okay, so you're at the busiest time of the year. Let's <sighs> fast forward two weeks. Yes. To like December 26th and 7th. What okay. are you going to be doing that week? Well, so that leads me to a joke. Oh, oh good. So, <laughs> we like that. <laughs> so after Christmas, I like to do something. I like to go somewhere fun. This year it's Hawaii. Oh, wow. no and, way. And just, um, where do you think I stay when I go to Hawaii? Mm. Um, the North Shore. That's a good guess. Oh. Oh. No, it's not. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that is actually good. pretty close. Cool. Uh -huh. um, that was good. I don't know. Well. Your hat is the so bomb. Cute. That looks mm -hmm. great. A little polar bear. When I go to Hawaii, I stay in something called the Ho Ho Hotel. <laughs> so. On the North Shore. <laughs> On the North Shore. Uh -huh. <laughs> Have you ever been to good. Hawaii? Well, of course. Yeah, oh, every year. Stacey. Oh my God. Okay, so I what are you talking to here? Right. What are some of the most asked for items for Christmas? Mm. That's a great question. This year, so I have met a lot of kids this year, a lot of parties, a lot of excitement. Oh, mm -hmm. here's some top gifts. Okay. Nintendo Switch. Yep. Oh, wow. I believe it. Holy smokes. Those hard to build. Yeah, they're, yes. Uh, Legos. Yep. Yes. Legos. Still a good one, yep. isn't it? Yeah. Yep. Traditional gift. Yeah. Yep. Um, Barbie Dreamhouse. Yep. Mm, classic. Yeah. Also yeah. classic. Yep. And um, just other video game requests and. Uh, Oh, a lot of Barbie stuff, a lot of uh, LOL, you know. <gasps> LOL, that's LOL. my granddaughter. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. What's been your funniest request this year? Funniest request this year? You know, uh, I don't think, well, I get a lot of funny requests, but I had a touching request. Okay, okay. And it was, um, 
you know, this young young little boy who asked for his uh, his his dad to come home from the military. Mm -hmm. That was really sad. It was pretty touching. Yeah, that is pretty. Touching. But you know, Santa Claus, you see a lot of a lot of good and some bad and tough times, and mm -hmm. I'm grateful for the the glasses and the beard and the hair to help protect yeah, the tears does. sometimes. Yeah, but, right. Yeah, but it's usually do the wonderful. Kids, do the kids ever get a little nervous? Of you? All the time. Yeah, intimidated. Yeah. Especially if they're in that stranger danger window right? time. Yeah. It's, uh, I had one today who, I mean, total, total uh, freak out session. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and it was, and there, was no, there was no coming back from it. <laughs> no recovery. Oh, darn it. <laughs> but, um, if they but only knew that you're the one bringing these I know. fun gifts. Yeah. Here's yeah. the thing, though. Most often, though, if, I find if I go to an event, uh, the, the, and the kids are nervous. If I just kind of let them, hey, you know, look at my bell. Look at, you know, oh, I just kind of let them so warm neat. up for a little bit. Mm -hmm. yes. They almost always, uh, after, you know, a little bit of time, <sighs> they love Santa Claus. We're getting pictures, you know, candy canes, whatever else, presents. It's wonderful. Yeah. So, um, but just take some time. Yeah. It's a lot to take in for a little kid, it right? is. a little child. Yeah. The, the red, the white, the hair, right? <laughs> you know, the bells, the uh -huh. lot, you know, the uh -huh. tree, beautiful tree. Yeah. So. Do some have the list though that they just have it memorized and ready to <laughs> yes, go? <laughs> yeah, all the time. And sometimes they get rattling off what they would like, and it is just nonstop. And I don't know how to stop them sometimes. Oh no, <laughs> they just want a lot. Yeah, and uh -huh. I'm like, how do you even know you want so many things? Right. My daughters used to be like that, Santa. They would take those magazines yeah. and just circle oh. everything in there. It's hard to make a list from that. Yeah. Yeah. It's like the whole catalog. It's tricky to keep straight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Santa, I don't know how you do it. Yeah. <laughs> no, I wanted to ask you a question. Yeah. You've been around a long time. Oldest time, yes. Oldest times. What yeah. year, what Christmas would you go back to? Ooh, 1984. Wow. Mm. Yeah. Why? What was so memorable? Life was just a little bit better, slower. Yeah. I remember for us all, right? Mm -hmm. We were all born in 84. Yes, okay, I had to make sure I. <laughs> yes, I was so alive young. then. Yes. Santa, so, thank you. <laughs> yeah, close. Um, yeah, just a beautiful time of life, the early mid '80s. You know, that's so funny because yeah, as we yeah. had our guests on Studio Chatter tonight and talked about fashion, all of the 1980s fashions are coming back. Sweater oh, yeah. vests, oh, blonde true. sweaters yeah. like what Natasha's yes, wearing, yeah, mm -hmm. and this sweater vest. So, so we must like want it. to go back to an easier, calmer, stiller. Yeah. Non Things technology. Are, I think maybe we have the Atari back then. I can't remember. Yes, the I remember. Beginning of it. Well, the remember beginning of it, that, right, right? Of course, it was. Yeah. Yeah. Pac Man. Give out a lot of those. Yeah. Oh, the 80s. Yeah. That's Man, a good time to go back. That was yeah, a good time. Was, I know. Santa, thank you for all that, that you give. Yeah. You're welcome. If you could My tell heaven. the kids or the people something, what would that be? What message would you want to share? You know, I would say a couple things. I would, and I try to do this as much as I can, mm -hmm. but I would just say remember what Christmas is all about, the true meaning of Christmas. Um, and remember, this is, if, if no time other than this time in the year, this month, you know, give a little more, love a little more, um, you know, uh, remember, just try to bring the magic. When I always go to parties and, you know, it, I always try to bring that Christmas magic mm -hmm. and do whatever I can to just give a little extra. So I think if everybody gave a little bit extra mm -hmm. this time of year, it would just do wonders. It would do so much good for all of us. I am... Um, I'm visiting the Spanish Fork Senior Center this week. Oh, and I cannot wait, I can't tell you how excited I am to spend some time with our local elderly citizens. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm just so excited. And to have an elf helper, you know, joining me and sing songs and serve food and that kind of stuff. If we would all do that a little bit more. Absolutely. I just, I have no, no doubt at all that we'd be a much happier place to live. Yeah. Love well, we certainly thought. appreciate yeah. you stopping by, and we know you have yes, places to, to be tonight. I know. So thank you so, 10, 11 so much. Days. We've got a, <laughs> a, a, got a time on here. tough schedule. It's busy. Yeah. Well, good luck. Thanks well, for visiting with us. Yeah, yeah thank you're you so much. We've got to get back home. It's uh, we had a. I was going to tell you issue with the reindeer. Oh wow. Oh, yeah, we've had us. one of the nine reindeer. Um, it, he's been naughty. Just really naughty. Any oh. idea who it's been? Who who who's struggling right now? Dasher. Close. Dancer. No. No. Hope. Oh. 
Vixen. No. Comet. I'll just tell you. Oh. Rudolph. Oh, uh, Rudolph. <laughs> he's been extra rude. Oh. And so I got to get back to the North Pole and take care of that. Oh, okay. okay. So thanks for having me, but I do need to run. Okay. So. okay. Thank, Thank you, Santa. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Oh, 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 Merry <laughs> Christmas. Wow, what a great show. This was really fun. Was so fun being with Santa. It the really last was. episode of 2021. Guys, we made it through another year. Wow. Another year. Yeah, it was a really great show. Yeah, this and I was love fun. ending with Santa. It kind of brings back that magical of, yeah, I, I don't agree. know, being a child and Christmas. And we got gifts. So sweet. It was a good night. Good it was night. a really good show. Thanks, Smashwork 17, for taking such good care of us. We yes. have so much fun. We sure Wishing do. you and all of you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy Holiday Season. Absolutely. Merry Christmas.